It's the end of the day with Ray. Hello, my friends. I got to do a part three of my A4 videos. You know, the last couple of days I've been talking about A4. Folks, I showed a slide in a video yesterday. And I think a lot of y'all missed that slide, so I want to do a video and dedicate it to that one slide because it's an extremely important message. Hell, it's the message that's motivating me to tell the whole world, all the dealers around the world, all the manufacturers around the world, why A4 is better for our industry, let alone how much better it is for our customers. We know it's a better experience. The data proves it. But how does that better experience relate to more money for the document imaging channel because a lot of people are confused by it but the slide i showed yesterday explains it in detail and i want to pull that slide up again ladies and gentlemen it's about the machines you don't service that's where your money is it's not in the machines you got to run out there and service and you service dysfunctionally you don't make any money there if you look at what i got from next era's data these million, 136,000 A3 devices costed $114.29 per month in parts and labors. Those machines are generating a half a service call a month. And for those of you that get confused by that, that's six a year. Compared to the A4, a million, 517,000 machines plus average parts and labor per month of $15.09. You know why? because you only service them 0.13 times a year. It's like one call a year, folks, to six calls a year. Can we not understand this now? The Document Imaging Channel doesn't make the money off the machines they gotta show up and service dysfunctionally. They make money off the machines they don't service. And if they pay attention to data and they use data to improve what they are servicing, well, they can lower the cost. They can lower the cost when they have to go out on site. But ladies and gentlemen, A4 is a two, a two full process here. It's not just good for the energy channel because obviously the data proves it. If you replace an A3 with an A4, you got rid of a bunch of service calls. It's not rocket science, it's data. If, if you got a whole bunch of machines in the market that are only running a couple thousand pages a month, 5,000 pages a month, 7,000 pages a month, get those damn things out of there. If they're A3s, put A4s in there and stop showing up and fixing them. I've said this numerous times. Customers today don't give a crap about how good your service is the six times you show up and fix their A3. What they care about is buying equipment that doesn't need you to show up and bother them. That's what we're all striving for. We're all striving to buy products that eliminate the interruption of service. Does that mean that service goes away from an industry that was built on service? No. That means the progressive dealers, that means the progressive manufacturers are going to go to market based on lowering the service to the customer. They're going to put less parts in the machines. They're going to stop making A3s more and more and more and start building up their A4 populations. They're going to partner with manufacturers that are good at A4. Look at our friend at Sharp. They just partnered up with a manufacturer to sell their A4s. Lexmark. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to sell more A4s. Why are we fighting this? Just because we're making money? Of course you're making money. But you're also losing money. And sooner or later, those losses could outpace what you're making. That's the reality, especially as volumes decrease. So does it make more sense to deliver based on customer experiences being improved and deliver based on the bottom line being improved? Get this nonsense out of your heads that it costs more money to deliver A4. It doesn't. What it costs Maybe a little more supplies? Who gives a crap? The hardware cost is so much less. We got dealers running around doing premature buyouts, rolling crap on top of a lease to sell another A3 machines so they can go deliver a lower cost to the customer on a page count when the page counts are like 5,000 pages a month or less. It's insanity. And they call that a better deal for the customer? You know what, folks? 
You can continue to fool yourself that this 1990 business process is going to continue on forever. And it just might continue on for these really small dealerships for a long time. But really small dealerships don't move a marketplace. Really small dealerships are lifestyle businesses. These $100 million companies, $50 million companies, companies that are pivoting to IT and technology services are going to understand real quick. We need to deliver print equipment to customers to give them a better experience while they need to use it. Because one day they're not going to use it near as much as they are today. We all know that. One day they might not use it at all. And that day could be coming quicker than most of us ever, ever could have imagined. But it's a fantasy to believe that if you go to A4, it's going to just wipe out everybody's, you know, budgets. First of all, it's going to improve yours. You just got to change the way you cop your people. You got to change the way your techs, your techs operate in the marketplace. There's just things you got to make changes to, but change is good. We all say we can make it. Of course, as soon as we see the marketplace moving in a different direction that we don't like or we don't understand, then we hold our hands up real high and say, oh, no, no, let's do it the way we've been doing it for the last 30 years. Innovators don't give a flying crap about how things used to be. That's for sure. Innovators look for opportunities to create better experiences, and once they recognize the opportunity, they set out on a path to create that better experience, completely disrupting the old way. And that's where the Document Imaging Channel is today. They're in the eyes, they're in the eyes of those hunters that are hunting status quo. And they can see it, you're a target. And you're either going to try to modify your business closer to the realities of the marketplace or you're not. But one thing we all know, status quo is in fact the killer of all that will be invented. My friends, I'll see you all tomorrow.